if you clicked on this video, you're probably going through a painful breakup right now. No matter how long the relationship was or if you're grieving the loss of a relationship that never happened, your feelings are valid. They say, move on, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but how do you actually do that? How do you get through this unbearable pain? In this video, we'll give you five steps you can take to finally get over them. It's in your DNA. What were your earliest memories like with them? Were there moments where it felt like time stood still and life just felt different, better? Maybe for the first time in a long time, you felt happy. There's a reason it feels impossible to get over them. Research from the journal Frontiers in Psychology found that people falling in love show the same symptoms of someone who has a behavioral or substance addiction. This addictive reaction isn't your fault. It's in your DNA. The same researchers found that romantic love is a natural and often positive addiction that evolved four million years ago as a survival mechanism to encourage pair bonding and reproduction. Even brain scan research supports this view. Because the state is so common when you fall for someone, romantic love hasn't been categorized as an addiction. Lies. Have you been scouring your brain trying to pinpoint what went wrong? You need answers, you need it to make sense. When falling in love is like an addiction, then heartbreak is just like withdrawal. Psychologist Guy Winch explains that with every trip down memory lane, every text you send, every second you spend stalking them on social media, you are just feeding your addiction, deepening your emotional pain and complicating your recovery. Getting over them is a fight, not a journey. After a breakup, your mind lies to you, making you believe that they were perfect, but they weren't and they're not. To get over them, you need to remind yourself of why you're better off without them and you have to remind yourself often. This is why creating a detailed list of all the bad memories, the things they did wrong, and their worst qualities can be therapeutic. Have this list on your phone, on your bathroom mirror, on your kitchen fridge, wherever you can put it. Don't let the lies win. It wasn't all rainbows and butterflies. They hurt you, and you deserve better. The truth. You may be worried that no one else will get you like they did. Maybe you feel like it was the first time in your life that someone finally understood you, maybe even loved you. YouTuber and content creator Lema Aziz explains how this isn't true. There's going to be another person that's going to love you better. Do you remember those moments when something felt off about them, but you ignored it? You brushed that feeling aside because you didn't want it to be true. But what if it was true and your gut feeling was right? What if you collected all those small moments of doubt and saw the real picture? Clinical counselor Mahela Boehm believes that we can turn a blind eye to bad behaviors because our need for the fairy tale impairs our thinking. You didn't want to see their negative qualities because you so badly wanted it to work. Grieve. Grieve the loss and give yourself permission to feel everything, says licensed therapist Radisha Brown in a Mind Body Green article. It's okay to let yourself feel it all rejected, numb, free, abandoned, uncertain, obsessed, confused, relieved, devastated, betrayed, angry, desperate. It's a chemical sign that you're purging it out of your system. It's okay if you feel like curling up in a ball and crying because soon these emotions will fade and this heartache will go away. It might not feel like that at all right now, but this awful feeling is temporary, and you can and will get through this. You, what about you? Did you stop doing things that you once loved when you were with them? Maybe you thought it was unattractive, weird, or boring. Now it's time to do those things again because they mattered to you and they're important. Focus on what makes you happy and what you wanna do. You can now say goodbye to the negativity the relationship brought into your life and focus on new and better things. Your heart won't heal by going backwards, by going back to them. As activist and poet Najwa Zebian says, the one who broke you cannot heal you. What helped you get over someone? Share with us below so you can help others. The pain of losing someone is overwhelming. 
but you don't have to face it alone because there are people who want to help. Mental health professionals are available if you need them. Thank you for being here. We love you. Until next time, and remember, you matter. <laughs>